Let's get to another big story here in Ottawa. Op opposition MPs are angry over a flyer sent out by Conservative MPs. Now, these flyers here on Parliament Hill, everyone knows about them, but maybe you don't. They're called 10 percenters on Parliament Hill because members of Parliament can send out 10 percent of the taxpayer-funded leaflets to Canadians outside of their ridings, and they can put whatever they want into them. Let's take a look at one that was recently sent out. This is the most recent 10 percenter sent out to members of various communities across the country, certainly targeted at the Jewish communities. It accuses the Liberals of being anti-Semitic. Just last month it was the Liberals explaining themselves over a flyer featuring a body bag, a sick Aboriginal child, and the message, no vaccines, just body bags. So the, these notions of 10 percenters have become a big issue. Just how far is too far when it comes to these mailings? We have three MPs here to discuss that. We've got James Bezan, Manitoba Conservative MP, who actually sent out that flyer that the Liberals are saying. Uh, accuses them of being anti-Semitic. Thanks for being here. Uh, Joe Volpe, the Liberal uh, transport uh, critic, he's here. Nice to see you. Thank and you. Uh, Libby Davies, NDP House Leader, is here. Good to see you. Uh, let's start with you. Tell us a bit about this 10 percenter and why you think this was certainly within your realm to send something like this out. Well, all political parties, as you already said, participate in this 10 percenter program. And uh, we often want to contrast positions of parties and, and uh, making sure that uh, people across the country are aware of what each other, uh, all the parties are doing on, on certain issues. And so this is a great contrast piece talking about what we have done as a conservative party, standing up for Israel, uh, standing up uh, for the Jewish community, and uh, contrasting that to, to what has happened uh, with the Liberals. So essentially, we're not saying anything about the Liberals being, um, you know, ignoring uh, that that particular group of people or that community, uh, what we're saying is this is what their actions have been and this is what, what uh, you need to know what they're doing so, uh, when they're traveling abroad or they're speaking across this country. Now let me just, uh, as we're talking here, uh, Jerry, why don't you just put up this 10 percenter and just, just so people have an idea of what's in it and what's in it and as we're talking about it, Mr. Volpe, as we look at this 10 percenter on fighting anti-Semitism abroad, on fighting terrorism, on support for Israel, what's the problem with it? There's a problem, it's a, it's a wedge issue. It isolates a particular community community away from other communities on a religious ground and an ethnic ground. And it says it arrogates to the conservatives uh, the right to defend that community exclusively. And secondly, it does it by pointing to issues that reflect change in history, arrogate issues that have been part of governments of Canada history, and it misinforms and misstates it downright well, what, what, lies. Okay, well, what do you uh, say? Well, let's no just about, what do you all. think is There's the lie factors. in this? Well, you've got, you've got the item up, and you see, for example, in the very first item, it accuses liberals of willingly participating in an overtly anti Semitic conference. That this conference, is called the Durban the one, Durban the conference one, that took the very place in first Durban. one right. that took place. Nobody knew it was going to turn into one where there were anti Semitic statements, number one. Number two, the, the soon to become Attorney General of Canada. Canada, Erwin Kotler, was representing not only Canada, but was asked by the Israeli government to stay in the conference when the conference developed in order to present the decision and so, the position. So when you Canada. said it supported an anti-Semitic conference, no, it you, is that is, is that No, what, what happened is that, that, that Hetty Fry, who was the, the, the Minister of State for Multiculturalism at that time, actually spoke in the conference and talked about it being important and timely, and that was reported in the National Post in June 2004. But, so, and, you think, know, they, they actually were that, missing the point Other countries, when, when they started to be all sort of anti-Semitic, any Israeli comments that Durban made, they turned around, about. they walked out, Canada stayed under the Liberal government. And, okay, and the on. Israeli yeah. government, just let me just the Israeli government I want to bring said, Libby in, but hold on. Because I think the issue here is that the Conservative Party is using 10 percenters to divide communities. All parties have taken a very strong stand against anti-Semitism. Um, this is Absolutely. something that is well known for individual members, for political parties. Of course, we speak out against but, but, racism. But, but, but there are some but pretty they're, they are deliberately using this uh, legitimate means of communicating with constituents across the country to divide but communities. But and let's, I think, be, let's be honest, but every, I think every party uses very... wedge issues to go after communities. I guess the question is, is it accurate or not? I mean, Mr. Volpe, here you hear Mr. Bezan says uh, uh, overruled uh, defund... Over Pardon me? Okay, go ahead, sorry. I'm just going to make sure I'm reading it. What's the actual text there? Uh, overturned defunding... 
uh, of Hamas. I, I can barely read mine. You know, it, it's, okay. yeah, but, but I'll tell you. Is it's, that it's, true? It's, no, me, can I just read? I just want to read this actual, the actual statement here. It says, opposed defunding of Hamas and asked Hezbollah to be delisted as a terrorist organization. Is that true or false? Well, it's nonsense. Like, our, our then minister, our solicitor general, Wayne Easter, who's still a member of parliament, presented Hamas and Hezbollah for uh, listing as a terrorist organization. And understand that what that means as well is that those two organizations can no longer receive Canadian funds. So is that true? <coughs> or is, did you, you, you got to remember though, you, 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 you have a liberal government that did some, some, some good things when they when they're in government. They come into opposition, they start doing some, some really ridiculous statements. And so when Stephen Dion was a liberal uh, foreign affairs critic, uh, before he became leader of, 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 the, of the opposition, uh, he actually said that, that we need to uh, maintain the funding after we cut it. After the conservative government said we're going to cut the funding to, to, to well, Matt, Evan, as you can see, said, this, debate, this debate, this debate could go back and forth and, and on and on. I think okay. the issue here is the use of the of these what we call ten percent. But, but should and there be regulations well, on what you can say? Force. One is, I think they are a legitimate um, vehicle for MPs to use. But I think there is an issue about the content, and I think that what we're seeing increasingly is that particularly the Conservatives are using it in a very strategic way okay. to divide people, uh, to to uh, uh, to make personal attacks um, that I think are unfounded, right. and I think that's what we've got to debate here and, and, and to see whether or not this. there but should but be changes that need to be made. Always in, in Parliament, what we do is contrast each okay. other's positions, no. whether we're debating in the no, House or whether we're talking to our constituents. The this is about informing Canadians about what the activities are of all the political the parties. James Bezan, Joe Volpe, and Libby Davies. I mean, I, I've got, I'm so, I wish I didn't have to cut this off. I mean, time seems to be our enemy today, but, uh, but this is uh, the debate about the rules over 10 percenters and what goes in them obviously will continue. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I, I, I cut you off. And I, there's only 10 percent of the argument we've heard. <laughs> Stay with Power in Politics. We'll check in with uh, Rosemary Barton when we come back. I, I know.